Okay, I'm back. I am going to play some Web3 games that I am actively playing or trying out, actively trying out. So this is fun. Surge is really fun, but I actually want to try um, combat racing. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting for release 2.2 for the showroom. I think that's when combat racing should be coming out. Uh, so let's see. Uh, whoops, I don't need to run. Click on only the ones that I own. I don't own too many ships. I like this ship for racing. <coughs> So I don't think um, you can actually combat any anything right now. I don't know where the bots are. So, hmm. But well, whatever. We'll see. Flight mode. Hover mode. Um, search bar. Um. see any bots or anything. Whoa, it's going really fast. Is it this way? Oh shit, there they are. Oh my god, I'm terrible. How do I go faster? Oh shit, I'm terrible at this. I need more bullets. Oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm no Siggy. Oh, what the? Oh, that slowed me. He probably dropped something that slowed me. Uh, which way? Which way? I don't know. <laughs> so I never played Mario Kart. I can imagine this could be like really fun where you're trying to race at the same time as fight somebody. I'm so far behind. I, I can't combat them anymore because they're so far ahead of me. Uh, how do I boost to go faster? I, it looks like I have a rocket. How do I shoot the rocket? Back here, Lobi. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Lost control. And I fell off the track. <laughs> That's it for me. <laughs> I try how do I try it again? F1? Uh oh, what happened? Alright, this needs to be fixed. Oh, I'm falling through the world. <laughs> I broke the game. Alright, where is... Uh, I get back here. Oh shit, for real? They're still going? Wait, I think that was me. Wow. Was that me? They replayed my um, <laughs> ship? No, no, because he's still on the track. I would have fallen off the track by now. <laughs> oh, this is fun to watch. Let's see if I can just shoot them at the same time. Yeah. All 
I get on I get on the ship again. How do I speed up? Right button doesn't do anything. It's just the left button to shoot. Ah, I can't control this. I'm, dry, I'm racing through the bushes. And I'm missing all the bullets. <laughs> what the hell? No, not again. I don't want to fall down there. Where's the... Uh, what's the boost? But uh, hot key to make me go faster. Is that spring key? Uh, this is difficult for me. I'm not really good. This is why I never tried Mario Kart because I'm not good at racing games. Every time I go to the arcade and I try it, I'm always crashing into the sides or. Um, doing what exactly what I'm doing right now is just losing control of my racer not turning uh, at the right time not staying on track <laughs> boys um, zigzagging and hitting the sides of the track and yeah so I'm really terrible at it and yeah and they're all the other racers are long gone. There's like. <laughs> I don't know how you use the uh, those pickups. I mean, the bullets, I get it, but the other pickups, I don't know how to use those. Like, let's see. Mouse, middle mouse, right mouse, nothing. Left mouse is shooting. Let's do like uh, F for. No. Oh no, sh shoot, F means to get off of it. <laughs> get back on. So, I guess... Yeah, the sprint button is to go boost faster. I should probably look at the controls. In the settings. should be uh there is a mini map in the lower left but it should be bigger where it shows the whole track so it it shows you where all the other um racers are at how far ahead of you they are <laughs> or how far ahead of me they are This one is a harder uh, path to take because there's the the the, the turns are s steeper. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to find them. I think they're oh shit no. Oh come on. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh. This, is, this this part is for me whenever I fall off. Yeah, I think that uh, it's done. It doesn't say who, uh, which bot won. So I certainly haven't. I fell off the track a couple of times. But they're still going. 
Alright. I'm going to stop. Right here. Oh, they're still going. Actually, they are still racing. Let me see if I can shoot them. No, that doesn't do any damage. Oh, I got him. Yeah, it does do damage. Got him for 27 defense shield points. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. I'm going to go to the main menu. And I'm going to try out the um, surge. There's not... Even though Surge is activated right now, there's not really any much players playing right now. Which is unfortunate because it's a fun, addicting game. This is why I said I'm actively trying to play the game. Because there's just not... Some of the, the Web3 games, they just don't have players or active players to play with or against. Mud. I better not be camped right away. Let me see. Is anybody sent? No. Anybody up there? No? Okay, good. Alright, this guy's still here. <laughs> He's just camping his own base. There's only two players, so it's just me and Gitz right now. So, hold on. I'm just gonna log out then. Log out. I really need to get 10 games in for, um, you know, what do you call it? Gods Unchained. I need 10 games of these before two hours and before it resets in two hours and 25 minutes. So 10 games remaining today, and that will allow me to at least gain some, what do you call these? Gods tokens. Okay. I did have about 139 God's Tokens recently, but uh, since this expansion came out, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I went ahead and went to the marketplace, and, uh, ooh, what's in the Star Store? Ooh, best friends. Might as well, look at, I have 308, so I might as well buy this. Oh, and this. No, because I don't play death. Remember, I only play nature. So buy, you own two, none at this quality. So I'm going to buy two of these. If it will let me. Okay. And another one. Even though I don't even use these cards, but oh well. This is nice to have. You can sell these. I can sell these if I want it. All right, so let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. I have a whole bunch of packs to open that I've never opened, so I've got two of these. Let's see what I get. Hopefully, I get. Uh, hopefully, I get nature cards. No. Mana Surge 4, summon a copy of this creature. Oh, I hate this card whenever the warriors play it against me. Damn, why are they only giving me warrior cards? Ooh, Blitz. So as soon as you play this card, you can just start attacking with it. If this creature has 5 or more strength, it gains Twin Strike. Nice. Alright, the next pack. Apparently, I have over 100 packs that I never opened. So this is what happens when you actively play, but you don't, uh, oh, okay. If you are holding a dragon, add a Draconite Shard to your hand. Heal boost plus two? Wow, Beam Seraph, nice. All right, so let's see what else. What What is this? Domain Magic. Oh, I think this is what you get for free whenever the uh, Dread Awakening, um, Dread Awakening expansion just recently came out, and they did say you get something for free, so I'm going to go ahead and see what I got. Everybody gets this uh, for free, so let me see what it is. 
Alright, a rare pack. Um. Oh shit, no, this is an actual. Yeah, this is actual. Uh, ooh, fray. For C2, draw two cards and set their cost to two. Uh, unfortunately, I, I do not play magic. This is a nice card. Especially if you put deadly on it. And it can just kill almost anything and stay at the back line. This is annoying. Two damage to each enemy creature. All right, so apparently I have 144 rare packs and then 135 epic and four legendary only. All right, so let's see what I get in the legendary packs. Um, let's see, really nice animations. I'll reveal all cards. No nature cards? And for legendary, I only get a rare? Or, yeah, that's a rare. Man, that sucks. Alright, next one. Legendary, you would hope to get, like, I don't know, like, something higher than a rare. Yeah, something like this, like a yellow, a yellow, um, a yellow glow. A, a, a yellow, what what do you call these? Triangles. I do have this already. Anyways. Now I guess I have another so that I can mint it. And uh, upgrade the shine. Let's see. The next legendary pack. This is the third one out of the four that I haven't opened. Again, all these packs that I'm opening, they, uh, you get them for free just by playing. And they're weekend ranked events or just the daily uh, play and earn 10 games. Alright, so I got Loki and Disciple. Characters damaged by this creature gain sleep. Interesting. This is an old an OG type of uh, a pack. Let's see that. Okay, so the last legendary pack is a what do I get? Anything? Oh, there's one nature card, another nature card. Ooh, nice. I've been looking for these. Balthasar Blood Magus. Increase by two the cost of spells in your opponent's hand for one turn. Oh, that's it? And I guess it's decent. And this, oh, this is neutral. Anybody can play this. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, even though it's a legendary card, this doesn't earn you more fragments. This, the backing, the the backing of the card has to be like um, a higher shine, like gold or or you know midnight or um, shadow diamond. But I will definitely, I might actually put this into my, refresh one mana for each creature you control. Hmm. I do have this. Summon two spirit beasts. Next pack sh should be a, um, a rare, I think. Yeah, it's rare. Let's just see what I get. Okay, Amazon, Mystic, Olympian, Guild, Wild. Oh, this guy is a wild? Again, I play nature, and so wild cards are really, wild types are really good. F um, nature uses a, a lot of wild, car wild creatures, and this is neutral, so anybody can play this. All right. I'm just going to um, open all packs, and yeah, that's it. Oh, e epic! Let me see. Oh, that's thirty. F oh my gosh, thirty-five.
This is going to take a while. So I actually want to play my 10 games. I actually didn't get... Um, is this a legendary, I think? Purple is legendary? Or is it epic? Can't remember. No. Purple is epic and yellow is legendary. So after your opponent plays a spell, give plus one, plus one to a random friendly Atlantean. Nice. So what's the next? Epic cat. Yeah, I don't want to do this. I want to actually play the game. I don't want to open packs all day. I have like 35 of these to open. But I don't... Um, okay, switch to... Really? Oh, here we go. Here's the nature. I have this already. Uh, anyways, I guess I'll just open them all. And, uh, yeah. Okay, confirming means you will skip the pack opening experience for all packs. All cards from these packs will be discoverable on the collections page. Sure. Collections page. Um, all these cards. Uh, it doesn't have a filter for, like, the most recently uh, acquired cards, unfortunately. Uh, ownership, mana cost set, table, type, quality, attack. So the ones that I got that are Dread Awakening are these four. And again, as you can see, they're only nature because I don't play any other gods. So uh, I got these recently when, like I said, when Dread Awakening expansion came out about like yesterday or two days ago, I immediately went to the marketplace buy and sell here and look for any of the cheapest Dread Awakening cards and these were the ones that were the cheapest so I had 139 I think 139 God's Tokens and all buying all of these brought me down to 118 so was that like 21 God's Tokens which I think is at that time was worth about eleven dollars and all of these guys tokens i earned either through playing the game playing the day a daily play in 10 daily play and earn games or the weekend ranked events or just by being an early adopter and getting you know airdrop free gods tokens from the developers and yeah that's it so let me go ahead and play my 10 games finally all right, so I've already incorporated them into this called Dread. So it's actually a regen degen. It's actually this this deck, the second deck. But I took some cards out in order to put the Dread cards in. So like this guy is a Dread card, uh, and is this one? Yeah, this is a Dread card. Uh, what else? This is a dread card. I, I I think I might take this out because if you don't have anything else and you attack with this, it's going to take away your your card that you've probably built up. Say for example, I um I play this Marsh Walker. And it somehow survived until I can put a, uh, you know, all these, like, buffs on it. Uh, let me see. Like this. So if you get the armor on it, on the Marsh Walker, um, and you buff it up, but then if that's the only one that's left, and you play this card and whenever you attack with this card it's going to get rid of your marsh walker that you built up with the uh, you know all, all that armor and other buffs so i don't know if i really want this i like that it's blitz and that i can do that but i don't know if i really want this i'll probably go back to wild root staff so let me see ah, i'll just try it for now Let's continue playing it. Wild Root Staff is the one where you just it it will give your all your creatures on the board plus either plus one or plus two to HP and attack. Whenever you attack with the Wild Root Staff. Right. Let's 
So, Lysel, this is a new character from the Dread Awakening expansion when the waking world is too terrifying to bear. Uh, Brooms 2 and 3. I go second. So I'm just going to go, I'm doing my 10 games. If I'm losing, I'm going to quit so that I can get on to the next one instead of playing it all out. Uh, second, I want to try to get most mostly uh, damaging spells. Best of luck. But luck. if I go first and I want to try to get my level one creatures in my mulligan. Damn. I play this one. Heal your god for 10. If you have 8 cards in your void, add a random nature card to your hand. Or I hopefully, I, don't I can use that. So, we should do more, uh, a little bit more damage. Just 2 damage, actually. Oh, darn it. I don't have my Iron Tooth Goblin. I need that because I'm pretty sure they're going to play a. Um, a relic, which will be annoying. Mm, I will just play this. Hopefully, we, they don't have another one of these pharaohs there, though, because it can do two damage, and then this one does oh, or a blight bomb. Set from creatures that wow, that's crazy. Four, four, and three. So I have to use this. Man, that really sucks. Monster eyes. Lucky I get to do that. Oh. Ah, uh, damn it. Seriously? Answer the call. Let's just hear one of these. Doesn't matter which one. Hmm. This is not the way I hate this card. It doesn't penalize them for being able to just freely destroy your ca your cards. It's so stupid. I, I, you could have killed this one, but oh well. Oh no, not this. It's after this creature attacks, it deals one damage to each god. No, actually, that's fine. Awaken. Mm, do, 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 do. Should I attack first? And then, um, attack with this. Should I uh, attack with the creatures first, and then attack with this? It only works on nature cards, though, so. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, nice. Okay, after this creature attacks your opponent's god, reduce by one the cost of random highest mana cost creature in your hand. Oh. Okay. Alright, so if this survives and I attack the god, uh, then, oh, probably not going to be able to do that. I hate this. How many times can they play Pharaoh's Heirloom? One, two, three. I wonder how they are able to do that. Pharaoh players unlock. Uh, is this an H card? I wonder if this works. Let me see. Okay, so this is the only nature card. And if I attack this, then this should 
Does it kill it? Oh no, it only transforms it, so I don't know if it'll it'll give my um strongest friendly creature. Oh, let's see. Protection. Let's try it. No, it didn't. Just changed it to some other random card. Heal your god. I do have eight cards in your void. Add a random nature card to into your hand. Oh, nice. It's a, a mystic. If you control a wild creature, refresh three mana. So I might have to play this first. I don't have any other creatures. I am not kind in death to those who oppose me in life. Damn it. it Triggered its afterlife. Well, I didn't need to do that. Oh, well. Uh, reduced by one, the mana cost of a relic. Uh, after this creature attacks your gods, reduced by one the cost. In your hand. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, I should have used it for the... Oh, it doesn't matter. Because I can't play anything else anyways. This is nice for backline. There's uh, death has a lot of annoying backline cards. <coughs> Too bad this is not a wild creature. Destroy target creature. Damn. I hate those fucking. They have no penalty for using those destroy cards. That's that's a that's stupid. Uh, bad design. So dumb. Alright, um five, six. Too bad this one is not gonna get buffed. This has gone on long enough. I mean all these freaking the death cards can just freely kill your creatures for free without any penalty to the um to the enemy. It's just broken. It's poor design. Oh, fucking a. Really? And they get not only they can freely kill your character, they get a f another character with blitz. How stupid is that? I have to, where are all my creatures? I don't remember having this many spells in my this spell, this oh, this relic. Answer the call. Uh, not this guy. I really have to try to damn these guys are Please kill this. Fuck. Oh God, this is so stupid. The randomness of these. Oh yeah, I can use this for whenever they use a relic. I got another one. What? How'd that happen? I might as well just use it right now because they can uh, keep increasing this creatures just by using this um, god power. 
So I'm um, got to get rid of it right now. Death is the prophecy of life. All right, that's their last blight bomb, but fuck. Really? I don't have much else to play against it anyway. Awaken. Oh my god, for real. Zero is considered... Oh, oh yeah, because it says here animal bomb. But if you look at the actual creature itself, it's zero. It shouldn't be considered as... To do attack? Oh no, no, I'll do this. I'll attack. Cause, that, Cause then, when I end my turn, I it'll get rid of this. <laughs> We're gonna play this and use dreadnought. Mm, increase that, and um, yeah, hopefully. They don't have a, a way to take out my hidden characters. Or at least they don't have anything to heal themselves with. Or a front line, which will prevent me from going straight for them. Or ending the game. My patience wears thin. Damn it. They better not get a freaking tank or a uh, frontline or. Right, GG. Alright, on to the next game. That was only one game. So, yeah, these card games, they can. Just one match could last for too long. Too long. Five, no, ten, twenty minutes is too long for just one match. Especially if you're trying to um, play ten games for the uh, play to earn event or daily play play to earn event. Uh, wait, was this the last person? Uh, the person that I just previously played. Um, I don't need this right now. I don't need you. I don't need this right now. I need a one card, a one mana card. Mm. Uh, let me see. Is this? They're still deciding what to pick. Best of luck. You too. What do I get? Really? Backline. At the start of your turn, summon a random five mana wild creature from your deck and destroy this creature, which I do not have. I don't think I have a wild creature that is five mana. I mean, we could see. I don't know. Hmm. If they have a blight bomb, I'm going to be so pissed. Most likely, they do have uh, pick their blight bomb and their um, their mulligan. <coughs> Do not have a blight bomb or a axe woman. 
Oh shit, what did it got at three mana? Oh, we got that. Out. Fudge, 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 fudge. This guy's gonna be annoying. Um, I can try to use the no. This only does one damage. Duh. <laughs> So if this is uh, they just better not play a relic cuz I don't have my goblin iron iron tooth goblin or uh that guild character you can get from the sanctuary. Shit, they're going straight for this. Do they have a blight bomb? That's why they got it to 3. Damn it. All those three gonna blitz attack. So I was trying to increase these guys, but oh, that yeah, really sucks. Oh, this actually works on this guy because yeah, he he's the strongest out of all of these who only do one damage. Awaken. So I can use this. Nice. To get rid of that. And just kill some of these guys. And uh, I, I want this just in case he plays another one of these freaking obelisks. There's another backline card that Death has as is just as annoying. I can't remember what it is called. It's a good they have a couple of backline cards that are annoying. Um, so should I get this or a tank? A front line. So he's going to have to force him to use that next time. Um, should I get rid of any of these guys? Just so that I can get a 3 4 Meyer Walker? Or should I just. No, but it gets region if I get rid of one of these. Damn it. Um, let me just put more HP on the board. I think that was a bad decision. I should have saved it. Oh, damn it. No, I don't have my Iron Tooth Goblin. Choose two creatures, they swap strength and health with each other. Nope, I don't want any of that. I'm gonna play this now, or play this. Um, or play this. Damn. Like watching mm. grass grow. All right, let's try this. I don't think I have any wild creatures, but at five mana, but let's just see. Right. Choose two creatures, swap the strength. Never mind, I'll just play this. <coughs> right, hopefully they don't have anything to take out my 
Sue back will line. Understand. I mean, this is not as annoying as the obelisk not or the any of the other death backline cards. Because if you don't have a five mono wild creature, it's useless. And I don't think I have any five mono wild creatures in my deck. We shall see. This is a five mana spell, but not not a creature. And this is a structure. Interesting. Oh, here, I can use this on that. So, like, I can give this guy. Should I do that or should I use my... Uh, yeah, it just... At the start of your turn, summon a random 5 mana wild creature from your deck and destroy this creature. It did not summon anything. So that's unfortunate. Let me see. Let's switch these. At the end of your turn, give plus one to each other friendly nether. Um, switch it with this. Time to hibernate already. Alright, I'll switch it with this. And then I can kill. Oh shit, I need to kill it with this. Dang it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. One of these are gonna one of these guys are gonna die. Unfortunately. Or they don't have to. I can just uh, maybe try to just attack. Yes. And hopefully I, none of these guys die that I can use Trial of the Hydra on all of them. So this is a wild. Of course these are wild and these are wild and this guy is a uh, wild. Should I use this? Obliterate two cards so that they don't bring back their obelisk or any other annoying death cards. Uh, nah, I'll just save it. <coughs> hmm. I feel like they have a frenzy card. Or that so they're gonna take out one of these guys. Because they can't take out this one. And these are useless to take out. So it's gonna take out one of these. Oh it's this guy. Damn it. Give me a one mo one uh Oh well, I guess I have to use this. Mm. I want this. to get my Dagon so that whenever these guys heal up they also increase their HP and attack ah shit he's already at maximum eyes hold still <laughs> alright uh, okay. okay he doesn't have front line so that's fine oh damn it he brought this back Summon a creature that costs you mana or less from your void and give it. Damn it. <coughs> I really should give somebody armor, but. Uh, where is Dagon? Did I use Dagon? Oh, shit! 
Yeah, Dagon was the one of the first ones played. Oh well, we'll go with this guy. That sucks. And I, I can't even use Pangolin. Do not attack this guy, please. All right, thank you. No, I'll save it for this guy. Because then I'll get more um, HP and attack to give to my other creatures. So this is 12 points to give to my other creatures. While this is only 4 or 5 points. So hopefully, even though it will die itself, at least it will give um, my other creatures more, a lot more HP and attack. Oh shit, I forgot I was clo close to dying. I really have to concentrate on just like attacking this god. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Damn it. So they do have some spells where it allows their creatures to attack again. Uh, attack the god again and just end the game. I forgot what spell that is. I don't know if it's an 8 mana card or 6 mana card or a 7 mana card or spell. Um, why is he taking forever? play this and play this right now. now got my Let's see this guy should hopefully this guy gets something. Oh you get one oh, wow he's already gonna be like one and three. Okay guys I really don't Oh, one and four, nice. Oh, this only does three damage, nice, okay. Still, I do not, I did not get my Iron Tooth Goblin to get rid of this. That sucks. I think this guy's AFK. Uh, let me see, is this, did I play this guy earlier, uh, the previous, uh, previous match? Um... No, I played it against somebody called Breams313. Breams313, what? This is not the way. What happened? He changed. After one of your creatures died, deal one damage to your opponent's god. Well, I'm not going to try to attack his. Oh, shit. What is Bitter Endings? What does that do? He switched his relic. Alright, GG. Right, 
changing. I'll just be done with it. Because I got, what, eight more games to play? Eight more matches to play. Um, one more win for nature. I do not play any other gods. It's annoying. I've tried so many times. I've played this game since 2021. And I'm horrible at the other gods. I don't know why. I can't play those. Back before they um, they gave a lot of the uh, like death. I think warrior, not death. Um, light. Yeah, I'm second. Okay, light and where's my canopy barrage? Good luck. Good luck. Light had some strength removal removing cards and creatures but now they got and I used to try to use that um, back in the day but it was hard to win with that strategy now they they have um, they have a lot more of those cards for light as well as deception that reduces strength um, but they're like just they're too difficult to obtain now. They're either really expensive or yeah, they're just from a different expansion set. Shit, I should have used my iron goblin to uh, goblets and flank. Use this. Yeah, maybe I should use this instead. What does this do? After a card is played, this creature gains strength. Alright. Goblets and flank. Uh, no, I'll just use this. I've done all that I can. Alright. That's good. Hmm. Because sometimes this card can attack the um, god instead, which I, I'd rather it attack a creature. So whoever he attacks, it, it's going to die. If he takes this guy out or this guy. Hmm. Wow, I like the card back. This must be new. One, two, three, four. I don't have that. As you can see, I don't have any kind of trinkets and card back. Only the ones that they give you for free. This is going to be so annoying to try to kill. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, here, I can do this. Take him out. <coughs> nice. And this is a. Uh, I can't tell the gold. I think it's a Dread Awakening card. No, it's not. It's not a Dread Awakening. Because I remember this being used before Dread Awakening came out. I keep forgetting to click on dead touched. Oh my god, that's so annoying. For now I must rest. I need to get rid of this really quick because that's just an annoying card. I don't want them to be able to summon it because once they get like a withers or whatever they can just copy withers over and over with their fingers 
or, or really Demogorgon, whatever that card is. this but I can't if I play this I won't be able to use wildfire so I have to play this one instead Okay, two and one, twin strike. heal to this guy and play this because this guy can heal a lot or not a lot but he can heal two get to the maximum so he, uh, full, he can heal to full GG Yeah, if I didn't take out that copy card, uh, I would have. They would have just gone rampant with that and won the game. All right, so I got all my flux from nature. I do not play any other cards, uh, gods. I'm extremely terrible at it, at those other cards. Uh, so five more games. Play. Did I? I think I did open all the packs. Oh shoot! I don't know why they disable it whenever a game starts. You have to wait until the game ends, and then you can check your launcher. Really? Magic or spell based players are really bad for um, creature based players because they just use their spells to kill your creatures all the damn time. The calm before the storm. God mm. I should have looked for some one mana cards for my mulligan. Now they have enough mana to take this guy out easily. Hmm. And I'm getting all fucking spells. And it's kind of useless until he plays a relic. Jesus fucking Christ. He's gonna use another star shard bolt or something. Hmm. Fuck. No, it should not do four damage. It should only do three damage at two mana. So. Hmm. 
They got a lot of spells that do four damage. Answer the call. I'm tempted to play this. Nice if I could play this and it survives. Vicious Manticore. I mean, this is a freaking five mana card and it dies easily. Whereas that one warrior card has, it's only a four mana card, but it has frontline and protected and five attack damage and four HP. So stupid. Jesus Christ. All these fucking spells. Needs something on the board. You might just use like crystal rain or shape blast or some shit. So fucking annoying. This ought to be entertaining. Go. Save this for something else. I need more cards so I can have more options. Fucking crystal, fucking rain. Cosmic scales must be kept in balance. Hmm. Take this out with like asterisk explosion or was it epiphany? this this will die but at least I'll take this out but if I use wildfire it won't do damage and it'll only give this guy enough to do three attack damage and two oh fuck so is it better to go with this or Three, four, five. <coughs> One more hour, or about forty five more minutes. We should have a surge game starting. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, 
just take this one out because it, can, it won't kill it. I'll take he'll take out my strongest. Uh, of course, unless he has like asterisk explosion. Hell. Awaken. Until the next life. Only two d oh god. Oh, if I play if they kill it. Which is going to be easy to do since it's only 2 HP. Hopefully, this one will get the protected and survive. I think this guy is gonna have a. Seriously? Something stupid. All according to plan. Answer the call. Wait a second, why didn't it get protected? Oh shit, whenever it dies, it never leaves a, a void, or a card in the void, I guess. Strongest friendly creature. So why didn't it give this guy protected? <coughs> Oh, because it was transformed, not killed. I keep forgetting that. So if he uses this um, pervious smite, it'll kill this guy. But I'll still have all these others, hopefully, to do damage. Let me see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fuck, that's not enough. Plus he's going to have eight mana. Let's see a shape blast. Okay, impervious might kills this guy. Does he have like another crystal rain? Because that would suck. I would take this, this, this out. Fix your opponent's god. Set this creature's strength to that creature's strength. So let's attack with this one. And then use this. So he's gonna either ratify this 
but then I'll still have uh, all of these others to unless he ratifies with five and then crystal rain how many crystal rains does he have fuck oh but crystal rain is five but there's something they have that is four mana um What is it they have that is four mana? Uh, crystal? Okay, GG. Huzzah, you fell through. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I can't play Shrapnel. But I just want to check it out. Uh, I don't know why I can't play Shrapnel right now. Why did I do this? Uh, let me see. Is shrapnel loading? Yeah, shrapnel should be loading, actually. But you can't do anything right now. Let me see. Weapons. So I have this skin. I think I've already enabled it. If I don't put it on, it's uh, it looks like that. It looks plain. But then if I put the skin on, it looks cool. What about the Leo? If you play in their STX, then you you get these um, skins f as a reward for playing. Hmm, uh, let me see. What this is a regular. Alright, and this is Yellow Jacket, Naval Dawn, Crimson Edge. Like, like Yellow Jacket. Type 50 SMG. This is sort of a new gun. I don't think they had it before. Um, eh, I guess I didn't get any skins for it. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Da, 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 da. Key vines. Unfortunately, you can't. Oh, you can change the key vines. Yeah, because I'm not a WASD player, so I'll use Q and E for my left and right. And I, I like to use A and D for my lean left and lean right. Um, unfortunately, there are not too many graphic settings right now where you can like say turn off uh you know high textures or or something something annoying like uh what's annoying volumetric fog or something okay, so this is the default skin that's interesting So right now we only have this one operator. This is a default operator. Everybody gets this. Um, STX2. Yeah, I guess that's it. I just wanted to check it out, see. Uh, let me go ahead and open up. Uh, let's try Alluvium. I'm not too good at Alluvium, though, unfortunately. Can you see Alluvium on the screen? Ascendant Ranked. Welcome, Ranger. Before we can determine your rank, you'll need to complete 10 placement matches. Your performance will decide your starting rank. Upon completion, you will receive your rank border. Good luck. Okay. I hope I'm not playing against other people. 143 frames per second, 6 milliseconds, nice. This is beta 3 still. So beta 4, I don't think it comes out until April, at the end of this month. So maybe like the 28th or 30th. Except I did not want to play this. I wanted to play Overworld.
There we go. This is what. The Alluvium team is proud to welcome you to the private beta of Alluvium Overworld. Being an early private beta, the game is still in its unpolished and incomplete stage. You'll notice significant changes as we can continue to refine and enhance the gameplay. In this version, the game does not interact with Alluvium Arena or Zero, and all progress specific to the overall will be reset in the future. For any feedback or issues, please use the in-game reporting tools. We appreciate your support. Encounters remain stable for longer. Craft drone upgrades at the zero. Alright, so press E. Travel to Sancta Mesa. Uh, I'm already in Sancta Mesa, aren't I? Uh, no, I want. How do you get into the. Uh, Do do I want to try to get into the um I guess this it no. Let me see. Is this it? This is gonna take me. Oh, you're kidding me. That is exactly where I wanted to be. I gotta go back. Actually, let me go try some other places. Hmm. Stage zero, travel to Bri Brightland Steps. Nice. The visor comes with another site. Press Q to highlight nearby loot. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Wait, what? Excuse me? Why is this taking forever to load? Is it crashed? Or maybe that area is not playable yet. I see something. Ultra performance. Temporal super. I don't know. Yeah, I have everything at low. Let's try epic. What are those floating things, uh, bubbles, up in the sky? Oh, those are bubbles going up to the sky, actually. That's what they are. Uh, how do I get to the other side? Because you can't jump in this water, you die. It's like acid water. Oh, you could walk across here. I guess it's fine walking on this thing here. Oh. Alright, there's a bubble. I keep seeing bubbles all over the place. What Do I shoot them?
Wow. There's things I can... I can mine some stuff, but I... Jump into this thing? What is it? Oh, this is what's creating all the bubbles. or anything to to mine I like the grass it's almost stylized the art looks almost stylized almost like like a big time but not really it looks like a a 3d in here wow on that pick it, it looks really nice <laughs> okay so where there are no um Nothing to mine, nothing to uh, uh, capture, no alluvials to capture. Wh where are they? Uh oh, I don't know if it's safe to go into this water. Yeah, it's safe. Oops. Right, go back up. I mean, it looks cool. I just, how do I? What? What do I do here? It's just uh, maybe it's just to try it out. Let's go up there. Let's see what's that. What's down there? Oh, I'll just go this way. up here uh, what do you call these little robot again I forgot he, he has a name scan I wonder if I can jump all the way up to those rocky Stinky flora. What is this? Stinky flora is harvestable. I guess I came from there. Up all the way up here. Hold to teleport. Apparently there's a stinky flora that I can harvest. Which I haven't harvested. Jelly fruit. Tendrils. Rhodium, I got all these things. Ah, I don't have any alluvials, unfortunately. Um. Wait, I was trying to look for... Argon Rift Custom Mark... Oh, yeah. Deposit, Teleport Beacon. Obelisk. Oh, what is anything? What is this? This is the Brightland 
Brightland Steps. Okay. Nice. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any kind of monsters or anything. Wait, where is that stinky flora? Oh, I see it. It's down here somewhere. Is that one thing the stinky flora? It makes bubbles. this little thing Mozart his name is Mozart inventory floorball sanguine essence and harvest completed let's see inventory Sanguine Essence, Flora Ball, gain 100 max health and 10 physical and energy resistance for the next combat, nice. Sanguine Essence, Liquid Confidence, comes in bold golden green, swirling with sanguine. This mysterious source of morale boosting energy is often used with bolstering essence. Grass is pretty cool. It's not bogging down my system, but it looks really cool. You can run right through it. Hit Q for anything, nothing. all the way up here. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, is that a skull in the distance? I get there. It's a skull of something. It's this thing. It's a skull of some really huge dragon or something. Can 
Can I even go on top of this thing? This, uh, whatever this is. I want to shoot the bubbles, but even if you shoot them, they won't pop. Oh, it's all the way up here. Whoa, oh! It was sliding. Uh, you can't go up there. Oh, you can't go up here. Okay, I'm up here. Oh, what about, can I get up there? Anything? Can I harvest this thing? Nope. things. The gurgling. Climb up here. See where can I go? Oh no, you can't go up any further. Oh, there's that dragon skeleton. Oh, there's more landscapes. Can I jump up here? Nope, I can't. Uh, nice. Maybe I try in here. Ah. Try here. Ah, close, but no cigar. I mean, looks really cool, but where are the monsters? All right, so this area looks like it's not um, completed with monsters or anything, and alluvials or too many um, mineable areas and harvestable, not areas, but nodes and plants. I can't get to the top. I want to get to the top of this thing, but yeah. I want to get to that dragon. really cool. <laughs> well, it's over here. Is something harvestable? Nope. saw something.
shit. How do I get to the uh, Dragon Island? Right here? The only way to get back is to teleport, maybe? Oh, yeah, how are you supposed to get back? Maybe jump across there. Looks like it might be too high. Yeah. I wanted to yeah, uh, jump onto the dragon's head, but oh well. Ooh. The bubble being created. Apparently these things also create bubbles. Everything here creates bubbles looks like what if I stand in it will it will the bubble take me up there oh shit it will <laughs> interesting can I control where the bubble goes nope cannot what if I shoot the bubble I don't want to shoot it and then it nice Where's the bubble taking me? It's moving. Is it gonna pop? There's no first person view. It keeps going higher. When will it pop? Is it gonna pop? Maybe it'll pop over that highest peak, no? But the bubble is definitely moving. It's not just going up, it's like going to or is that to the east? Southeast? Oh, I think it's kind of... Oh, no, it's still moving. Is it going to go all the way to the top of the... It looks like it's a dome, maybe. <laughs> oh, shit! It did pop. <laughs> that was fun, though interesting i should try it again to see if i shoot it is it gonna if i pop it it's is it gonna pop the if i shoot it is it gonna pop the balloon i mean the bubble let's see if i can get onto one of these before it makes a bubble is this a bubble maker? Please make a bubble. I want to go in the bubble ride again. <laughs> no? Oh, are you kidding me, right? There's a bubble maker right there. Ah, damn. You cannot go in it uh, once it's formed. You have to jump on this pad first. Now shoot it. Oh, it does pop if you shoot it. Okay. That's cool. Uh, let's see if we can teleport. Zip. Oh, cool. It's like Star Trek. 
Beam me up, Scotty. Alright, I guess that's it for now. Oh shoot, let me play some big time. Let's see. Let me continue playing some big time. Disclaimer. Acknowledge. Uh, Los Angeles. Population low. There's no low, but there's a medium. Uh, that's just population wise. That doesn't uh, mean that it's going to be laggy. Hopefully it's not laggy. So what are the quests that I gotta work on? Retrieve Gasper's artifact from the Ageless Veil. Vale. Oh, okay. Where is that? This way. Auto walk, sprint to auto run. Um, Ageless Veil vale is right here. Sometimes if you destroy these containers, any of the containers, they'll drop stuff. Okay, connecting recommended classes, one time warrior, one quantum fixer, or at least one. Pyramids. Schrodinger, mine apprentice, to find the location of the one guards are, uh, one who guards our artifact, you will need to investigate this anomaly. It is likely a portal from whence the guardian arrived. From where he came from. Okay. Where to? Just ends. Wow. Huh. I haven't been to this area. Sanctuary. I almost ran off a cliff. Well, it's not a cliff. It's just I r almost ran off the edge of the world. <laughs> okay. Could I do anything with these mushrooms? Nope. Oh, monster. He's chasing after me. Close the portal. Isn't there supposed to be a mo uh, robots up here? Okay, I wonder what time crystals are for. I'm still pretty much learning this game. I only installed it like two or three days ago and started playing. I don't know what the time crystals are and I don't know where they are. Like, how do I find them? You locate a missing artifact from the time forest. Gasper's artifact. 
get time crystals. Open loot. Yeah, but what are time crystals? Hmm. I picked up a few of them. I don't know how they just, they just pop up and fall into your inventory, automa inventory automatically. Dual edges. <laughs> Damn, it's slow, but I bet it does a lot of damage. And what happened? It just automatically... Um, equipped itself. <laughs> that was a heavy attack, huh? Maybe I should have just started with the heavy attack. I got a rare two-handed weapon, level 10. attack. This heavy attack is fun. <laughs> it's just one at one whack and they die. I should oh there's a mantis stuck here. I can't do combos with this thing. It's just the the whacking animation is too slow. Let's see if I can get out of here. Hopefully he'll come follow me over here. Now I can whack him to death. Gotcha. Alright, close this. Oh, damn. Look at all these monsters here. Almost dead. Damn, I almost died there. I should use a hammer and a shield. <laughs> attack is so slow. What is down here? Oh, I need to get there. Gaspar's artifact. Find the guardian's chamber. Oh, nice. There's heals. What's in here? Some speed potions. Oh, there's a robot of Android. Can I sell stuff here? <laughs> yeah. Let's see what if I can sell stuff. Come on in. We have some great items for sale. Level three, two hundred weapon. But this one is a rare. I'll just put that there. Actually, this is better. So, I gotta be careful not to right click because it'll just sell it. And you'll never get it back. But this is junk, so you can just drop it from your inventory. Uh, junk cannot be sold to vendors. This is weaker than what I'm already using. So, I. 
I'll just sell that. Ooh. This needs high dexterity, though. I don't have a lot of dexterity. I only have 20, and I, I need 33, which is going to take forever to build up. So I'll sell it. Intelligence, of course, is difficult to get. I only have 10, but I need 29, so no thank you. Uh, I don't mind using this. It increases strength. Wow. This would be nice. Uh, oh my god, I need vitality. How do you get vitality? Pocket watch to level 10. Strength of 28. So I need 7 more strength. And 12 more vitality. Damn it. Anyways, this is for a barbar... Oh well. Anybody can use it. It's just as long as you have the stats. So this really sucks. Do I really want to build up to the strength? 48 strength and 51 strength. I can't, if I need a total of 7 plus 12, so 19 points in order to get up there. Whereas here I need 30 points. This one I need 27 points. So it would be easier if I just went with this. Even though these, yeah, no, this would be better. So, bye-bye. Uh, Let me see. How many skill points do I have? Not that much vitality. Let me just start with strength first. Oh, shit, I didn't realize I have six points. I didn't unuse, so... I start with what does vitality give increasing your vitality stat will increase your maximum health and your elemental resistances that would actually be nice increasing your strength stat will will increase your maximum health and your non-magical damage scalar attributes hmm what to do I just only need one more point and then I, ho I need a whole bunch of this so let me just go with these And then, that's Vitality. Yeah, I'll just max these out. I don't really use all of these others. So now I got a level 4. Less of Smite, which should do a lot more damage, right? Yeah, but it also costs a lot more energy, unfortunately. And the cooldown is much longer. Wait, no, maybe... It Maybe it reduces the cooldown. Might as well just max this out. Okay. Uh, which way? Which way to go? Uh, oh, I'm still running. Head down this way. Is there any monsters down here? Okay, what am I looking for again? Oh, Gasper's artifact. Find the guardian's chamber. Oh, here. I see some monsters now. Okay, this is a bad idea. I should probably fight them one by one. I can just heavy swing and maybe use this. No, that doesn't do much damage. 
Oh shit. Too much damage, but still. Oh, this guy's tough. It's like has a lot of armor. Nice, I got her. Gotcha. All right. Gaspar's artifact acquired. Shadow lane. These time crystals, and I got an artifact. Uh, oh, that's the it's everything. That's not just from this monster, that's everything. Interesting. Uh, where to go down here? Hold your interact key. Our glass. Un our glass is unlocked. Let me see if I can sell stuff. To this guy. Oh, it's another bag. Cool. Oh, I didn't know that it had that. So eat. Quantum fixer hammer is weaker than Let me switch. How do I switch? Without. Let me. Da, 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 da. What are you looking for? Oh, this is weaker. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the intelligence for that anytime soon. Maybe sometime down the line, but by that time, I'll have out leveled those items. Wow, this great sword is actually doing. Oh, okay, yeah. More than the hammer. Need some strength for better leggings. Compared to this one, it's not that much better. I might as well just keep this one. Gives me a lot more maximum HP. A little less energy, but... Hmm. Let's get rid of that one. Wisdom, 48. Quantum Fixer. Eventually, I'll level up my wisdom. Seven. Uh, no, thank you. That's dexterity. Uh, Have a safe journey. You too. Is this better? Yeah, it's better than the junk item. Oh, this is way better. It's got plus 13 HP, plus 13 max health, and plus 18 max energy. It's definitely going to put that on. 185, 232, 271, 214. Uh, and you cannot sell junk, so just drop it from your inventory. None of the Vendroids will buy the junk. There's a player with a shield on. The Golden Phoenix. <laughs> Hand over the artifact. So you are proving to be more resourceful. At this pace, we shall travel to times and before the star collapses. What do you mean? 
Take a look above us. This planet star is collapsing. Okay, I have transmitter and the artifact. And now we need a portal fragments in order to input the coordinates to time's end. There are two fragments in total. They shall be found in portal scouts throughout the training grounds. You shall travel to these worlds, destroy your position, and retrieve these fragments for me. Before you head out on your adventure, here, take this. Pocket watch gears have a chance to grant you additional abilities and stats. Make sure to equip it. Nice. Um, Alright, so... In order to use this, I need... Six more vitality and seven more strength. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. This is a chrono barbarian, chrono barbarian axe of needling. Whereas this one is chrono barbarian axe. That's it. This requires level 10. I'm on level 5. Ah, I'm not going to get to it anytime soon. So let me see if I can level up these other strength items. I need to definitely level up strength. Right, strength. Uh, skill point and I guess some more. So cooldown is 12.95. Energy cost 52. At level 5, it's going to go to 60, and then the cooldown will be 12 seconds. Damage is 20. Damage is still 20. Really? That's it? Oh, it's maxed out. Dang it. Oh, jeez. I cannot use this. I can't get the personal metaverse. All right. Let me head back. Where is it? 200 meter meters to the southeast. It's for XP. Tree of Life. Wait, what does Tree of Life do? Oh, let me put this on. 194 max health, 252 max energy. 231 and 252. Okay, nice. Tree of Life uh, uh, regenerates both health and energy within its aura. Oh, that Tree of Life. The one that floats. Alright, so it's energy potion. I'm putting them. Let um, me see. Let's put this here. I'm going to change. Or is it easier for me for my fingers to. So, 8, 9, and 0. I'm going to switch these up. Plus and minus. Uh, but what about these guys? Is there something easier for my finger to press? I wonder if my um, Logitech mouse buttons, my extra Logitech mouse buttons work. Let me see. Thumb too. Yes, it sure does. Nice. Thumb mouse button. Ah, I use thumb too. And let's see. Let's move this over. Nice. Much easier. Mm. 
Yeah, I just realized this guy is a heavy breather. What is my nose mouth breathing? Is there something here? I saw some kind of a something. It's just a rock. Jump! You can do it! No? I guess not. Uh, energy takes forever to re... regenerate. I wonder why. I guess I really need one of those Tree of Life or the um, energy pots. I don't really, really need it right now. Head in here. Oh, I won't. I saw some mobs I could have killed. Oh well. Let's kill these. Portal fragment from arid desert. Okay. Portal fragment. Ooh, I wonder if that will be to make my um, personal metaverse portal. Yeah, I think so. Big time, I like this logo. I want to use it in my thumbnails. Video thumbnails. Alright, so there's a healing tree of life. Oh, there we go. Now I can heal up my energy. So, wheat. Go this way. Oh, there's a monster. A mob. Eight XP, nice. Compared to like... And, oh. Steal some of the local flora. making those gurgling sounds. Oh, is it this uh, dinosaur? It's this guy. This guy is a underling messenger. Oh, I'm surrounded. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> this one can sort of attack around you. Hmm. Right, where am I heading to? Oh, find the flowers. That's where I'm heading to. That would be good for when you're fighting a boss monster and you can stand in that and they'll do a damage to them. Oh, he's an overling leaper. Oh, nice! <laughs> he jumped into it. Yes. Alright, can I harvest this? Or mine this? You just mine it with your <laughs> hammer. <laughs> you don't need anything else. 
Ah, I could have used this. Oh well. Ooh, ten XP. Nice. Ooh, silver ore. Nice. More silver ore. More silver ore. Got about three of them. I can't jump up there. I gotta get to the other side of these rocky cliffs. Feral gastropod, but it's not very feral at all. It doesn't attack. Oh, but this guy attacks. It's coughing something other. Difficult to kill that guy. Took a couple of hits. I wonder what that does. Oh, is that a chest? It is. Two more time crystals. Hmm. I wonder what you, you can do with time crystals. Darn flowers, so I can pick them up. Nice. to pick up these flowers. They're so far away. Oh, nice. <laughs> a spinning f jump attack or a spinning flip attack. They did some damage to me. Chest. 
Ah, nothing's in it. Evading me. These guys are actually not so wimpy after all. There we go. Splintered. Great sword. Which way do I need to go? Boss gate. Uh, <coughs> rally at the gate. Oh, I see it. It's down there. Is there any buffs? No. Unfortunately, there's no box. Sure, let's do this one too. Where is this boss? Is that it? Those blue. Oh, here's the red. It's things in red. Oh shit! What have I done? <coughs> Jesus, guys, they're not taking much damage, are they? Oh, shit, I can't fight them both at the same time. dying. This guy is almost dead though. Get out of here. That thing was about to explode on me. Shit. Oh, nice. Ar uh, arid portal fragment. Leveled up, nice. That was actually tough. Should probably not be like fighting them all at once together like that. Maybe use some kind of like range attack. What's this here? Who's that? Uh, more stuff to pick up. Any more monsters to go? No, I don't see any. I could have ran around. I didn't have to just fight in that one sp spot and get killed. 
or get, take take all that damage. Uh, where to? Right there. It's 202 meters away. Oh, there's a robot here. Accessories. I want to sell some stuff, actually. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh. This has more HP, but less, less energy. Yeah, I'll just use it. And then I'll sell this one. This I do not need. It's, it's weaker. This, ooh. Reduces my HP, but no, no, I don't want it. This chrono shield, I need 39, but it gives me less health and less energy, so no thank you. I, I don't know why it does that. Nope, this is worse. Red velvet pouch. Uh... Maybe I need to take things out first. Really annoying. Oh my god. Alright. Let's do that. That way. Only three bag slots. I don't know what I can use this for. I'm just going to hold on to it for now. This is weaker than, what am I using? Improved quantum fixer starter hammer. It's a dual weapon, but it's weaker. So I can throw this away, throw that away. Weaker, one-handed weapon, weaker. These gloves need more strength, but they, <laughs> they don't give that much more. Um, let me see, what about these? These give a little bit more. I just need to reach 51 strength. This one only needs 42 strength. Damn it. Decisions. Uh. Mm. Okay, what about these leggings? Oh, they're actually better than what I got right now. So, so this, this hammer is a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know about this. It's 200, so I'll just sell it. Melee damage, I'm saving it for this. 17, oh my gosh, this is 21. 16, 16. This Chronomancer Hood needs a lot of intelligence. This one needs a lot of strength. Uh, it's between these and these. It's only going to give 179. That sucks. Alright, let me see. Have a nice day. You too. Maybe I can help you with something. Oh. This is actually the the one. Okay, I will use this one. And sell this one. <coughs> I really want to... Ah, where'd he go? Well, that sucks.
I didn't know those androids just disappear on you like that. But the one at, at base, or yeah, it doesn't disappear on you. It just stays there in the same spot. All right, let's see. Let's destroy this. And give me some summon. What is this? Summon party portal. Nice. I haven't seen that before. What does this do? Rank at least one. Rank of at least one current six. Uh, what did I just do? I used it. How sad. I accidentally used it. That really sucks. Hand over the fragment. Well done, young quad officer. Let me unlock your personal metaverse, yes. This will allow you to travel to your own metaverse and grant you access to your personal stash. You shall find this useful once you inevitably become encumbered due to your excessive looting. In this space, you shall also find gem crafting and droid. You have given it some shiny bubbles, say, shall, they shall be necessary for you to craft a weapon gem. Personal metaverse. Purchase the metaverse passive skill from your passive tree and use that ability to spawn your metaverse portal. Alright, passive tree. Personal metaverse. Eh, I cannot put points into anything more. It's got stats for two, two points. Uh, let's do a strength. And then what about this? Can I max? No, it's maxed out. So I guess I have no choice but to use it on light heal. No, I cannot. I need this. So let's do heal aura, I guess. A fortify gate. Constructs a gateway from the threads of possibility. Friendlies who pass through the gate will increase their mitigation for a time. And with the healing aura, the drone will seek out the friendly who needs it most. Yeah, let's just do that. What did I set my personal metaverse to? Numpad 5. Okay, my own personal metaverse. Bum, bum, bum. All right, return portal. Stash. Uh, let me see. We can sell stuff. I think this guy will well, take it. What can I get for you? Hey, hey, so you've made it. Here, Orwin told me to give you this. It's got quest reward ruby, time essence, gold coins. A lot of gold coins, nice. Take a look at my inventory and craft your first weapon gem. What are you looking for? Fire gem. Um... Can I craft this? No. Life steal, yes. Frost gem, no. I need a sapphire. Energy, I need a sapphire. Gem of repulsion, I need void essence and sapphire. Gem of attraction, I need a ra raptor heart. Shock gem of chaining, nice. I need topaz and charge particle. Ten setting. Silver setting, 
red gold setting, platinum setting. Alright, let me just go with lifesteal. Okay, we turn uh, applies a burning effect to hit enemies dealing damage over time. Fire dot damage. Uh, but leech returns a percentage of damage done to your target is health. I want this. All right, so I got the gem. Now what? Oh, you slot it this way. Should I just slot it on here? Will I have the stats and stuff to be able to use it? Can I remove? Oh yeah, you can remove gems. Drag your weapon here. I need level five to slot. Aren't I level five? Armor finishes by socketing gems into your weapons. Aren't I already level five? Well, that sucks. I cannot put anything there. Sadness. Then I can put it here. One thousand? Oh, okay. Jeez. Level zero. Uh, what? Safe journey. You too. Look, don't zero. touch. If you break it, you buy it. Oh, apparently you cannot sell to this droid. Goodbye. Okay, let's see, can I put stuff in here? Mm, level 10, it'll be a while before I can use this. I'll put in the inventory. Three, three, let me just save these guys here. This shield is not better than what I have, so I'll put it up here. This is not better than what I have. I have no clue what I'm going to do with these artifacts, so I'm just putting in here. Um, I eventually can use this, so I'm just put it down here. Wisdom of 48 turns out the chest piece I have is a little bit better. Maybe I don't need this, I'll just sell it. Strength of 48. Damn, it will reduce my maximum energy by a lot. Do I need these right now? Oh. Apparently, you cannot move these to your inventory. Your personal stash. That sucks. And you cannot sell stuff here. You have to go to a Vendroid. Like this one. What do you need? So all, all that junk. Have a safe journey. You too. Now, you must retrieve the second portal fragment. Off you go. Get a portal fragment from Frozen Caves. Where is that? It's over here. The north, north, northeast. I'm growling concerned about the ice castle's inhabitants. I don't have amulet, belt, ring, or ring. Metaverse portal. Should I just put it? No, it's already up there. Heal aura drone. Sit and rest. Place decoration. When in personal metaverse, place cosmetic decorations. Interesting. Do 
do I really need place decoration on my <laughs> on my uh, spell bar? So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.